So tell us a little bit, uh, PD, about your childhood and what your salvation experience was like. What was your childhood? How, <laughs> how was it before you became born again? Uh, when did that spark come that you just you said, Lord, I'm giving all to you at this point? So actually, I, I was born into a Christian family. Uh, my okay. friends, those, they love the Lord and they show us the way of the Lord. They taught us a lot of things about the Lord. In fact, I think at the age of 10, it was prophesied I was going to be a pastor. Mm. And of course, I was always dressed like a pastor. I always mm -hmm. pastor. I love to be a pastor. But at the age of eight, eight, 17, I, I decided to test what the world looks like based on the influences I've, I've received from my friends. And I tried it. Um, I started with drinking. I was drinking. Mm -hmm. At the bar, I was four bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking. I tried it. It was bitter, but I was enjoying it. I was saying, okay, let me try it. You know? mm -hmm. I was suffering. I was enduring the suffering. <laughs> and it was one uncle. One uncle said to me, if you cannot drink, you can't follow me for the night party. And I wanted to go. So he said, I should tell him if I can drink. So I went to go and try it. If I that the first day, I almost walked home with my head. <laughs> I <was laughs> so I started to trying to have girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And I tried it one to I think at the age of 17, I have 21 girlfriends. So 21. At 17, yeah. 21 girlfriends. <laughs> I didn't even who know until the day I was going to give an actual class because one of the things I did on the day I was going to give an actual class was I was going to write the list of all my girlfriends and put fire and burn them and say, Lord, I'm separating. <laughs> because when I was, I was writing, I now, I now wrote and I discovered that they were 21. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> End of life, I was living. The devil mm. wanted me. And I was mm. addicted to prostitution, addicted to pornography. Mm. I all manner at the point that I plated my hair. I, mm. I mean, I was just, I was, I was just wild, but mm. you know, but at the age of 18, God came for me. Amen. Walked into my room. A March in 2020, 2009, he mm. said, I'll continue your mess. That was the word. How mm. long your mess? And I broke down in tears. I was tired of my sinful life. I had to mm. call my so, I told him that I'm tired. He said I should repent and then I should I should leave those things. And I started crying to God. Then Holy Ghost came and got baptized in the Holy Ghost. From there, I began to preach from one secondary school to the other. I started secondary school evangelism. From there, I was baptized. I became a worker in church. And from then on, it's been pa 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 pa. Crazy about the Lord. Once in a while, go back into masturbation because of addiction. But Amen. after eventually overcame that addiction and it was it's been from one level of glory to another amen. level amen 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 praise god your story is a very interesting one and i think um sharing some of these realities of the struggles that were gives a lot of encouragement to anyone that may be going through such a challenge that is still carrying a mantle upon his head uh, because the devil may be deceiving such with lies that you can't get out of this. God can't use you. You are too dirty a vessel to be used. Um, but grateful, grateful for that for that experience you just shared with us. I believe it's helping a lot of people today. Thank you so much for that.